welcome students to a fresh lecture with a fresh topic it's chapter 15 in your textbook okay the chapter is comparing quantities okay chapter is comparing quantities exercise 15.1 now do write this that exercise 15.1 precisely deals with ratios so we'll be just looking about the ratios in this particular exercise 15.1 okay and now on the screen we have question number 1 question number 1 says find the ratio of each of the following find the ratio of each of the following i have copied here the first sub question of question number 1 it's sub question a 3 minute to 60 seconds it's given as 3 minute to 60 seconds okay now students before starting with the actual question here i can see i have minutes here and here i have seconds so a small note i want every student to follow the same sequence what i am doing here like this what how i am giving you all the notes okay just pay attention on the screen now note for you all note now students we know that 1 hour in 1 hour how many minutes we have in 1 hour we have 60 minutes yes okay now in 1 minute we have 60 seconds you should know this students you all should know this and i'm damn sure many of you must be knowing this okay so but you have to write it all of you have to write this okay 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds so following this note let's solve this question now one once again another thing now see here what i am doing it's 3 minutes given over here so i'm writing here 3 minutes 3 minutes 2 what does this 2 means this 2 means the upon okay this 2 over here means this fraction understand this please okay next we'll see here that i have 60 seconds over here so here down i'll write 60 seconds now comes the most important property of the ratios understand please ratios uh, says that in the numerator and denominator we should have same quantities here we don't have same quantities here in the numerator i have something in minutes and here in the denominator i have something in seconds so this can't be the case either in both the numerator and denominator there should be minutes or in the numerator and denominator there should be seconds ya to seconds ho dono mein ya to dono mein minutes ho or in numerator and denominator both you can have hours but it should not be the case that once one place we have something other thing and other place we have something other so what to do now the question or the doubt i will say that will come to your mind will be sir what to do we should convert minutes to seconds or we should convert seconds to minutes you know what i'll answer i will say always convert to the smallest unit and this answer i will be giving you throughout this question always convert to the lowest form so minutes are the lowest expects of consideration or seconds are the lowest expects of course it's seconds the lowest expects now see here what to do i am now converting this 3 minutes okay 3 minutes so is equal to is equal to now see what happens upon this dash 60 seconds i'll write as it is same the 60 seconds i'll write as it is same 60 seconds because i'm converting i have decided to convert both into seconds okay and uh, and as i told you always convert to the lowest so from minutes and seconds the lowest is the seconds so now i'll convert this minutes now see this here we have minutes 3 minutes see here students this 3 i'll be copying as it is 3 please pay attention this 3 i'll be copying as it is 3 here i have minutes So now I want to convert minutes into seconds. Please see here. One minute is how many seconds? Sixty seconds. So at the place of minute, I'll write multiply by sixty. And automatically, when I wrote multiply by sixty, because one minute was equivalent to sixty seconds, I was having three minutes. So three multiply by sixty, and now it converted into seconds. Yes. And now you know what happens, students. Another important point that in ratios, when we have same quantities, uh, the units gets cancelled. so second seconds gets cancelled but don't cancel it it looks very weird but actually the concept is they gets cancelled okay 
and now it's 3 multiplied by 60 and here it's 60. Now students just don't be over smart. There are certain students who are over smart and they multiply 3, 6, 3 multiplied by 16. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Now see, be smart over here. Can I say 60, 60 can be cancelled? Yes, second seconds also got cancelled. So we are left with 3 upon 1. It will be wrong students if you will say only 3. Of course, only 3 is also correct. But why I am saying it is it would be wrong at this place to write only 3? Because we need to convert into ratio. See here, we want to convert into ratio. Ratio. And in ratios, how to write? We have to write it in the form of 3 ratio to 1. So if you don't write upon 1, it will be just 3. So what do you write? 3, this colon, this is the colon. 3 colon what? You will write. It's not possible. Okay, so if you leave your answer in this form, it will be your one marks will be deducted. You have to convert into this form. This is called 2. Okay, how we pronounce 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1 is the answer. Okay, so this is the fractional form. Of course, this can be also called as ratio, but whenever the question is like 3 minutes to 60 seconds, so specifically we have to write in this form. This form is not acceptable. Okay, so there, are, there were various points discussed in this students first this note so you have to follow the same sequence okay and one more st thing students i was not having sufficient place over here so that's the reason i wrote it horizontally like this you will not write like this horizontally you do you do one below another leaving one one line okay pause the video please and do it first okay students now the next question on the screen it's sub question e i'm doing all the questions of the same type together sub question e the question says 3550p p for no no it's not p for parrot here yeah. it's p for paise okay 3550 paise to rupees 20 to rupees 20 2 means we have to find the ratios okay so now let's see this question students let's see this question it's very simple and very easy also okay now pay attention first i'll give you one note as i gave in the prior case also note we all know students that 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise yes 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise ok now once again we have here 2 I explained you all that 2 means the line of the upon ok so now what I will do I will copy the question it is 3550 paise ok here this 2 means like this a ratio upon upon what we have rupees 20 rupees 20 now I don't have place that's why I'm going horizontal you have to leave one one line and do vertically can I find can I cut 0 0 can I do the cancellation no not at all because in the numerator we have the quantity in paises and in the denominator we have rupees and the basic basic rule is in numerator and denominator you should have same quantities these are not so now what to do we have to so now a doubt in your mind sir should i convert this paises to rupees or should i convert this rupees to paises once again the same answer as i gave you in the previous question that convert to the lowest terms so paisas are the lowest term or rupees are the lowest terms of course the paisas are the lowest terms so i'll not touch this 3550 paise i'll write this 3550 paise as it is 3550 paise as it is i'll write now students i will change this rupees 20 okay here i have 20 okay i'll be converting this rupees to paise i want to convert this rupees to paise so what should what will i do first i'll copy this 20 as it is over here 20 okay now i know that 1 rupee students please see here that 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise so 1 rupee is 100 paise i have 20 rupees so i'll multiply 20 with 100 if one chocolate is of 100 paise so 20 chocolates will be of how much 20 multiply by 100 yes simple so just this rup rupees sign will disappear so because multiplying with 100 converting into paisas yes and there will be a symbol of paise over here that's it now just don't don't multiply no need to multiply students see very smartly we have to calculate okay now students this paisas paisas gets cancelled and i can see one zero here and from one zero here i can cancel one zero and one zero gets cancelled so now what we are left with 
I do not have place that is why I am going horizontally you will do one below another leaving lines ok. So, here I am left with 3 5 5 upon paisas paisas also units cancelled ratios will never have units if you write units you will be wrong ok. In the previous sum also it was just 3 upon 1 no minutes no seconds nothing here 3 5 5 upon 20 multiply by 10 ok. Now, I will do the cancellation students for you all ok. Let us start with 5 5 2 is 10 ok now 5 7 za is 35 and here comes 5 1 za 5 ok here 1 is an odd number. So, I am very sure that both are even numbers they will not go. So, now what will be the answer students now it will be 71 upon 22 za 40 will you leave the answer in this form of course not you will write 71 is 2 means a colon 40 this is your answer students this is your answer hope you understood this question pause the video please and do it first at your own please ok students now on the screen we have sub question d 800 gram to 1 kg 200 grams it is an important question students an important question before starting this I will give you one note note we know this fact that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams yes this is very simple will apply the same will apply the same now let us do it very fast ok let me write it is 800 grams 2 means upon this 2 means upon 1 kg 1 kg 200 grams 200 grams why this sum is important because here in the denominator we have two types of quantities ok the basic idea is we need to convert the complete numerator in one quantity and complete denominator in one quantity that to both numerator and denominator should have same quantities here in numerator we can see grams and denominator we can see kgs, kilograms as well as grams. So, what we will do we will convert into grams why we will see which is the bigger quantity kilogram or gram the lowest form is grams. So, we will convert into grams can I say students 800 is already in grams. So, I will just write it as it is ok students I do not have place that is why I am doing horizontally you have to do one below another. So, 800 grams I will write it as it is ok 800 grams upon ok upon now students I have your 1 kg I have to anyhow convert this 1 kg. So, now see what I am writing at the place of 1 kg I should convert it into grams. So, what is 1 kg 1 kg is 1000 grams. So, at the place of 1 kg I will write 1000 grams, but students here comes the most important point most important point I will say just pay attention. So, now here it was already grams in grams 200 grams. So, what to do I will copy this 200 grams as it is I will copy this 200 grams as it is ok. See one second please see here this 800 grams were, were, was perfect I copied it as it is 1 kg I converted it to grams. So, 1 kg is 100 grams I wrote here sorry 1000 gram 1 kg is 1000 grams. So, I wrote here 1000 gram here it was already 200 grams already in a up in a proper unit. So, I copied it as it is. Now, what will be the sign between them always remember this is the most important scenario that whenever you do in such in such a case that either in numerator or denominator we have two different units and we convert one into the form of another we all always put we always put a plus sign in between them yeah not multiply here yeah. it is a plus sign ok. So, what will be the case students now what will be the case? the case will be over here as 800 grams upon 1000 plus 200 becomes 1200 grams of course grams grams will cancel and we can do some more cancellations also over here 0 0 0 0 4 2 is a 8 4 3 is a 12 grams grams also cancels because it is the same units. So, it is 2 upon 3 students 2 upon 3 will it write will I write in this form of course not how will I write? I will write in 2 is to 3. This is the answer units have uh, ratios have no units. Please pause the video students and do it fast ok students. Now, the next question sub question f deliberately I am doing this question at the end ok. I will mark a star over here students a very important question very important question. It is same, but just we have a lots of conversion over here here the question deals with meters and centimeters ok. So, now let us solve this before starting this once again I will give you one note note we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter that is it I will just require this ok let us start students let us start 
it is given to me that 3 meter and 50 centimeter from here ok, 3 meter 50 centimeter I copied over here, it is a 2, 2 means an upon sign, 2 means an upon sign ok and then I have 5 meter and 75 centimeter, so I will copy it down over here, so it will be 5 meter and 75 centimeter. As I told you the basic principle is in the numerator and denominator there should be same units. In the complete numerator same unit, complete denominator same units and both numerator and denominator should have same units. It is meter and centimeter both in numerator, meter and centimeter both in denominator. Will it do? No. So, the doubt is we should convert meter to centimeter or we should convert centimeter to meter. Answer is always convert into the lowest unit form. So, which is the lowest form, meter or centimeter? Meter is the lowest uh, form as compared to centimeter or centimeter is low, is the small unit as compared to meter? Of course, the centimeter, ok. So, I will convert into centimeter. So, now, see students what I am doing, just pay attention, now what I am doing, ok. I want to convert, students, I want to convert this 3 meters, ok, into centimeter, because centi here this 50 centimeter is perfect, so I will not touch this and down I have to convert this 50 meters, ok. So, see here, I am converting at the place of 3 meter, now see this. 1 meter is how much? 100 centimeter. So, if 1 meter students is 100 centimeter, I have 3 meters. So, I will have 3 multiply by 100. It is simple students, it is simple. If one, if 1 chocolate is of 100 rupees, so 3 chocolates will be of 300 rupees. So, 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So, 3 meter will be 3 into 100. Okay? do not write the 300, you can also write but I am showing you how I convert. So, when I multiply 3 with 100, actually this meter got converted into centimeter, so I will write here centimeter, ok. Let me elongate it, ok. Next, now 5 meter, can I say 5 is a meter, 1 meter is 100 centimeter, so what this will become 5 into 100 centimeter, that is it students. And students, this 50 centimeter, we are perfectly fine with it. So, I will not change. I will just write over here 50 centimeter. And we are perfectly fine with the 75 centimeter. So, I will write here 75 centimeter. And what will be the sign over here? I explained you in the previous sum also. So, whenever after the conversion, we have two different quantities with the same units. Always there will be a plus sign in between. A plus sign in between. So, this 3 into 100 is 300 centimeter plus 50 centimeter down, 5 into 100 is 500 centimeter plus 75 centimeter. Yes, students. Okay. Now, let us continue. Is equal to 3 into 100 is 300. Okay. 300 plus 50 gives me 350 centimeter upon 5 into 100 is 500. 500 plus 75 gives me 575. 575 centimeter. Of course, units will be cancelled because same units, so it gets cancelled and ratio never has a units, ok. Now, let us do the cancellation students, let us do the cancellation, pay attention very much to this, ok. I am doing the cancellation with 5 first, ok. 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5, it is 7, so carry over 2, becomes 25, 5 fives are 25 and over here, please pay attention, it is 5 sevens are 35 and a 0 over here. So, now we are left with 70 and down 115, ok. Once again, I am doing the cancellation students, just pay attention here, please. Uh, once again with 5, 5 twos are is 10, carry 1, so it becomes 15, so 5 threes are is 15, 5 ones are is 5, it's 7, so 2 is remaining, to becomes 20, 5 fours are, it's 20, 14 is an even number, 23 is a prime number, so it's just 14 upon 23 students, ok, will we leave the answer in this form? No, so 14 ratio to 23 is our answer students, ok. So, hope you understood this students, it is very simple, actually this chapter is very scoring, ok, pause the video and please do it by yourself students, thank you.